Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I figured we could do kind of an unboxing slash first impressions on some products and that is going to be on, of course, Jeffree Star Cosmetics. As you guys know, I am a huge diehard fan of Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I'm a very, very big collector and a huge fan of his Velour Liquid Lipsticks and I got some new products from his recent restock. So I got three new products. I got a highlighter, a lip ammunition, and a new liquid lipstick and he just came out with his new lip ammunitions, which I did get one of those as well. So everything came in this little box here. First, can we just appreciate the packaging? Like the box is so cute. It's like hot pink with all the little lip ammunitions on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it right now. It literally just came in the mail today. So let's go ahead and get to unboxing this. Just gonna cut it open. See if I can get it without slicing my finger off. That would be good, right? Okay, so I just got the box open. Here is what everything looks like on the inside. Everything is nice and very compactly packed. So I'm just gonna pull my receipt out there. So here we go, I'm very, very excited. Let's go ahead and start with this little package right here. Um, I don't know which product this is gonna be. I'm kind of hoping it's the lip ammunition because I'm really excited to see these. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So we have a Velour Liquid Lipstick and a Lip Ammunition. So basically the difference between the two is the Lip Ammunitions are like more of like a creamy lipstick and the Velour Liquid Lipsticks are liquid to matte liquid lipsticks basically you guys know the drill with those so I am think I'm gonna start with the lip ammunition first so I just zoomed you guys in a little bit so you could get more of a view of what the packaging looks like and the lip ammunition that I got is of course obviously celebrity skin like hello duh I'm very very excited to unbox this oh my god they're so cute they look like little bullets like they kind of look like little vibrators if we're being honest but seriously though like how cute is this like I love it so we have the little Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo and then the little top up here and then the name of the color on the bottom oh my gosh you guys ready Ta -da. oh my god this is a beautiful so here's what celebrity skin looks like out of the packaging and all turned up so oh my god that's beautiful so basically this is just supposed to be a creamy version of celebrity skin liquid lipstick so I am going to swatch this on my lips first my lips there's nothing on them they are a little bit chapped just because I've been doing a lot of Halloween makeups and like a lot of like you know scrubbing of my face and lips but We'll see how it goes. So we are, let's swatch on the hand first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So I'm gonna give a little swatch on the hand. Oh my gosh, so creamy and very pigmented. As you can see, it is very much the celebrity skin color. It does have a very lipsticky type smell to it, if you know what I mean, just like that, like, li like lipstick smell. That's exactly what this smells like, and the color is beautiful. So I can't wait to swatch this on the lips. So I will go ahead and do that for you now. Wow, okay guys, so here is what Celebrity Skin looks like swatched on the lips. Again, this is the Lip Ammunition. I really, really like it. It is the exact same color as the Celebrity Skin Liquid Lipstick. The only difference is, is it's a little bit more creamy. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love this. So if you're kind of feeling a day where you don't want to go full all out on the liquid lipstick, I think these are absolutely perfect. Out of all of the lip ammunitions that I, um, you know, saw on his swatch video, Celebrity Skin is really the only one that called to me. Number one, because it's my favorite shade that's in his collection. And two, I'm not a huge fan of pink lipsticks, as you guys know. So I'm very much someone who goes for the nudes, mostly. So this is definitely the one that I had to get and I absolutely love it. It really reminds me of a lot of my other kind of creamy nude lipsticks that I have. But, oh, getting it on my teeth. Why does that always happen to me? Probably because my teeth are so freaking big that every time I put on lipstick, it just like transfers to my teeth. Like my teeth are like, give it to me. I'm gonna pull out the picture next because you guys know he always puts a picture in his new packaging and here's what this picture looks like. So this one is definitely promoting the lip ammunitions as you can see right here. The next package is this right here in this kind of like silver. We will get to the liquid lipstick after I do this one because I want to leave this on for a little bit, not gonna lie. And then that's everything that I got in the box. 
wax right here. So this next one is another one of his skin frosts, and this is the skin frost that I have been wanting for a very long time. As you guys know, I do already own Peach Goddess. Um, I did do a first impressions on that highlighter as well when I got it, and the other one that I was really, really feeling is, of course, is in the color King Tut. So that is the next highlighter that I was like really, really feeling, and that is the one that I wanted to get next. So I will take it out of the packaging, and I have absolutely no highlighter on my face right now, just like my natural face oils and all that jazzy poo. So as usual, the packaging is very beautiful. It is huge, like these highlighters are ginormous. So these are $29, the lip ammunitions are $18, and the liquid lipsticks the liquid lipsticks are also 18 but just regarding the highlighters $29 for a highlighter is not bad at all considering how much you get in the pan like like I said this packaging is huge okay guys here we go oh my god so here's the color on the back right here, King Tut. Another reason why I like the name is because when I had Motley, my little black chihuahua, um, he, his, one of his nicknames was King Tut. I don't know why, but just, I think it's because of the, how elegantly he sat sometimes, like he just did that cute little chihuahua sit. So I always, I always called him King Tut. And here is what the color looks like. It's like a really golden shimmery shade. So I'll go ahead and give it one little swatch. Holy kamoli. Ooh, look at that shine. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a really pretty like gold. I mean, I'm going to give it a little bit of try on my cheeks today. I am so excited. I'm just going to be using a little fan brush. This one is by Vanity Planet. I do have a coupon code for this specific brush set, brush shed bit, brush set. If you would like to, you know, check out those brushes and maybe purchase them, I'll have a link up in the corner where you can watch the video and check the description box for info like that. So I'm just going to take quite a bit of this on the fan brush right here. I'm just gonna sweep it. Oh my fuck. Ooh! See what I mean about like highly pigmented? Oh my god, this is insane. I'm gonna put down the nose, on the forehead. Damn! I just can't keep putting it on. Like it's very highly pigmented, but you can't stop putting it on. It's like, I want more! I want more! Oh my god, this is insane. He never fails. Like, never fails. That's amazing. So here is what the King Tut highlighter looks like on. So I will show you a comparison between Peach Goddess and King Tut. So here is Peach Goddess. As you can see, I have beat the hell out of this packaging because I use it all the time. So here's what Peach Goddess looks like all, you know, opened up and all that stuff. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. And that one has way more of like a peachy tone. And then this one has a gold tone. So Peach Goddess and King Tut, those are the two differences there. Okay, so now that I have removed the lip ammunition, and it's still on my fucking teeth. What the hell? Okay, so the new Velour Liquid Lipstick shade that I got is one of his new releases and it just immediately, immediately spoke to me because it is one of the brownie nude shades and those are, out of his entire collection, I own almost every single nude. I think, actually, that's a lie. I own every single nude that Jeffree Star has come out on his site. This one, of course, is in the shade Leo. Really, Siren? I'm trying to film here. Oh. My. Okay guys, so here is what Leo looks like out of the packaging. As you can tell by the cap color, it is pink, so it is going to be a permanent um, collection item in his on his site. So this one isn't going anywhere anytime soon. I'm pretty sure they are sold out right now, maybe not, I'm not 100% sure, but this is beautiful. It really, it kind of looks like a mix between Celebrity Skin and Gemini, but this one looks like to be a little bit more nude, whereas Gemini is a little bit more reddish toned, I feel like, on my skin tone at least. So yeah, really, really beautiful nude color. We'll go ahead and swatch it on the hand first. And this one is also root beer scented. So there is what Leo looks like swatched. Okay, so I'm gonna be lining my lips first. I'm just using this one by Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Willow. It's just kind of like a nude, and every time I wear a liquid lipstick, I have to outline my lips. So I'm just gonna do that first, and then I'll apply the liquid lipstick on top. Okay. 
Okay guys, so here is what Leo looks like swatch on the lips. Holy beautiful color. I absolutely love it. It really reminds me of Gemini. Like that is the first thing I think of when I apply this is Gemini. Um, if you own Gemini, then I think you can kind of see the resemblance. I'll go ahead and grab it and I'll swatch it next to this one so you guys can kind of see what I mean. But it is very, very similar to Gemini. And look, oh hush, soccer there, it's on my teeth. Wow, really beautiful color. This would look great on a lot of different skin tones, I feel like, especially if you're more of like an olive skin tone. I feel like this would be beautiful on you. And I am a little bit on the pale side just because it is fall and I'm not tan, obviously. Um, and I think it looks really nice as well. Very, very flattering nude color. I will probably forever and always buy his nude liquid lipstick shades just because they are always on point. They're always beautiful and I always love them. So let me grab Gemini really quick and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so here is what Gemini looks like and here is what Leo looks like. So as you can tell, they are almost identical in color. Um, like I said, Gemini is a little bit different. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch it right next to Leo. So I feel like Gemini is a little bit more pink toned. So here's what Gemini looks like and here was what Leo looks like. Very, very similar, especially in the tube. Like they are like literally almost identical. So that's why I immediately thought of Gemini when I swatched this on the lips. So Okay guys, that is everything that I have for my Jeffree Star Cosmetics unboxing and swatch video of all of my new products. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys!